and hello again everyone. As you can see, we are in space. They call it the final frontier, you know. Anyway, we're heading off to this space station in front of me to um, meet some guy who's supposed to give me some new mission. And we're under attack. Of course we are. Everyone on this planet hates us. And I'm not hitting anything and I'm just losing my punch. Am I, am I even hurting this guy? Oh, he's hurt. That's good. Okay, how about... Eh, you too. Whatever you just said. I kind of got that. I think he just said, ah. I mean, blaster overheat. Fine, whatever. He's dead. Okay. Where was I? I was heading for my scenario mission. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kick into high speed here. Hyperspace. The good thing about hyperspeed is you get places in a hurry. The bad thing, you can't steer. But that's okay. You'll actually drop out of hyperspeed when you're too close to something just like that. And I can dock at the space station. They won't let you dock on your own, which is probably just as well. I'd probably crash into the thing. So it's not like, um, some... It's not like some simulators. But we're here. Let's go check on our mission. Going down? Okay. This is the starport, or the space station. Um, these transporters apparently all go to different spaceships. Yours is back there. You can actually see it. See? Um, over here we've got people who will do maintenance and repairs on your ship. This guy will sell you upgrades. Uh, there's a couple of merchants here who will shill, sell you normal equipment or stuff for your ship. And you've got these trade terminal, terminals, easy for me to say, where you can buy and sell cargoes and goods if you want to go the Merchant Prince route. We're not going to worry about that right now, We're going because we're up here for a reason. We're going to go see what our commanding officer wants us to be doing. His name is Officer Keaton. I wonder if its first name's Buster. Hi, Officer Keaton. Okay, what Buster here has asked us to do, he says that the raiders, those same guys we just shot at a few minutes ago, are attacking merchant caravans in the um, system, and he, we, he wants us to escort one of them to a um, safe destination. And we went, sure, we'll do that. So head back to our ship. Get back in the VR helmet. And let's go. It's got a damaged piece of space station over there or something. Okay, we need to go over here. I guess it's the planet Uvalo. Okay, whatever. Line up on it, kick in the hyperdrive. Wake up. There we go. It's like 14 gigameters away. A gigameter would be, what, a million kilometers? thousand kilometers? Whatever. A long ways off. If I want to get there fast enough. I think I'm going to overshoot my target. Here we are. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting there. You don't really escort them, you just select escort and it puts you into an autopilot mode and you just assume a formation with it somewhere. It's like I'm underneath it. And it goes into hyperspace on its own. Our next checkpoints... Oops, we're under attack. Which I guess is why we're here. So let's see here. It's a little, like, controls are a little sluggish right now. Probably because there's so much going on in space here. But, um... Blaster over here. I bet he's not too far away from me to hit. Where'd he go? The blaster keeps overheating. There's gotta be somebody around here I can shoot at. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Who's down here? Uh, this guy? Okay. Fine. 
Okay. Blaster overheated. We can use the rockets. I think I missed. Your basic rockets don't have lock-on. You can get more advanced rockets that will lock-on. You can just fire and forget. Dumb missiles. All I have right now. Ooh, that hurt. Okay. So we need to get back to the transport again. And drop back into formation with it. There we go. I'm right behind it now. Man, I'm glad I'm one of the good guys, otherwise I'd have a great shot of his engine tubes, wouldn't I? Okay, so we're just chugging along behind this guy. Don't know why he's got him planned for us. And it looks like we were done. Well, why is it wanting me to escort him again? I'm just right there. That was weird. I actually don't know what's going on right now. Huh. I don't know how to disengage the autopilot. It says it's done. Huh. Oh, manual control. That'll do it. Okay. So I guess I need to go back to the space station and tell them it's on the other side of the planet. Of course it is. Uh, I guess I have to warp past the planet then. easy enough. Yeah, the space combat sequences actually seem to be a lot easier than the ground combat sequences. It's Which I guess makes sense, since Trees Crichton here is a pilot, not a commando. So you kind of wonder why they have their top space pilots out chasing raiders in tunnels, but, you know, I guess that's the way they do things around here. Let's go tell Buster that we're done. His name's Michael, not Buster. I really don't know. Okay, what Buster here has asked me to do, or what he has said, is that we have gotten a request from the Empire to help one of their ships, which is being attacked by raiders. Everybody seems a little surprised that we're being asked to help the Empire, because after all, we're not Imperials ourselves. We're the Amarn. So... But hey, anything to make in good with the Empire, I suppose. So we'll go off and give them a hand. You know, it gets old watching this same launch sequence every time, and I've only done it like three times. Well, look at their battle. They're already having a battle over there, so let me head up there real quick. See what's going on. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be shooting at here. That's red on my AFF, so I assume he's not bad guy. I'm getting an escort flag. I think I just hit... Oh, I hit the transport. That was great. The cruiser is in front of me. That was it. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I did, but I guess that was it. Okay. Um, I shot at a couple of things. Uh, that was about all I did. Okay, he's oh, he's on our side, I guess. I go back home. Oh, well, that was easy. I just sort of showed up. Um. Okay.
Yeah, I had a bad, um, lag spike there for some reason. I was getting like seven frames a second, and it was almost impossible to figure out how to, um, target anything. And the things I could target seemed to be out of range, so I'm not really sure what that whole battle was about. I'm not even totally sure what I was doing there. But, okay. I guess I'll go back again. I guess that... Hmm. I'm just going to track the, chalk that one up to something got lost in the translation, and I'm not really sure what my mission was, but let's go see what Buster has to tell me. Hi, Buster. We did something. Okay, that was kind of weird. Um, Buster says we got a message of thanks from the Imperial Commander, and even Tree says, I don't understand, all I did was fire a pair of rockets. So, even character doesn't think he did anything, so I really have no idea what that was all about. What we have to go now is we have to go try to track down some smugglers and see if they're smuggling Neftirium, or Neftinium, whatever it is called. The stuff that comes from the mines on Golden. And I have to be sneaky. I have to just sneak in and scan their cargo. Where is my target? There it is. Oh, that guy. I'm going to hyperspeed because I'm basically sitting on the space station here. There we go. Hyperspeed doesn't help when you're going after a moving target, does it? Up here loading cargo and all that. Oh, a smuggler. I got a submission. Just because I rendezvoused with him. Stage is telling me, don't shoot anyone, don't use weapons, be quiet. And I'm going, okay, what do you want me to do here? I mean, it's an auto loader. Before I've had scanner capability, and now I'm not getting any. I'm actually sneaking closer. Says not to get too close. That was my part of my instructions. It's identified as a smuggler. You would think that that would be all I needed. Auto letter. Why can I not scan? Why are you not giving me a scanner capability machine? You're about to be spotted. Okay, fine. sit here then. Well, there's a scan button. Okay, so I find out what I need and now they're shooting at me. Okay, great. Now I know what to do. This I can deal with. Again, I think I may be done with the mission, even though I'm not really done with the mission. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but okay. Okay. 
Why are there big holes in that planet they're glowing? Oh. There's something in my way. I guess I just hit that. Oh well. Oh, darn, I got shit damage now. See what that was all about. And again, it gets a little old watching that same landing sequence every time. I just start cutting that out for y'all. Go back and talk to Buster again. A lot of stuff in this station, not just Buster here, but... Hey again, we did whatever we were supposed I to do. Think. Okay, our latest mission from Buster Keaton here is to... Open. Is to join a race and win. Yes, we have to win a race in our ship. That's... I'm sure this is vital to the... Um, vital to the... Um, security of the planet. But anyway, I'm going to talk to this guy. He's a spaceship upgrader, and I'm going to get a faster engine for my ship. Hi, can you make a faster engine for my ship? Okay, I bought a level 2 engine upgrade, which set me back 5,000 credits, which is most of what I have right now. And um, then I. Um, hello. Then I got him to install it for another 100 credits, because I only had like a 10% chance of successfully installing it. So let's um, go out and see if we can win this race, shall we? Back in the VR helmet. And 30 gigameters away. That's a long bang. I'm not totally sure why we need to do this race. They, um, said something about some pilots from another star system are saying that no one in this star system has any good pilots and Ridger wants to prove that he does have some good pilots, but and I don't know, it seems more dependent upon what the um how your ship's kitted out personally, but oh well we got our faster ship, so alert. Oh shoot, I ran into a rock. Okay. Past that, get back into hyper mode. And okay. Anastasia says there's some pilot pirates around somewhere, but I have no idea where, because nothing on my radar, so let's get on to where we're going. Okay. Oh look, they have a starting line. Well, I guess that's one way to do it, just go through the rock. <laughs> Playing asteroids, not racing, so okay. Now we know what... Eh, there's a lot of trash talk going on around here. Fine, whatever. I've got a gun. I will do it if I were you. And for some reason, there are now guns being deployed. Okay, fine, whatever. I just hit a rock. I think I'm just gonna try and get through this. Okay. Whatever. Somebody's still shooting. I think they're shooting at me, but they're not hitting if they are. Around 
that thing. Man, that guy's fast there. Weapons allowed, okay. Whatever. So, fine. As long as I get through ahead of you, no! Son of a bitch. That was absolutely no way I could have done anything about that. That is the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen. <sighs> that guy came out of nowhere. Oh well. Be so bad if every time I tried to get anywhere I kept it and get keep getting these proximity alerts and running into things. Get the station, but I want to get to the station. I guess we didn't win, so I suspect that Keaton here is going to be a little unhappy with us, but hey, I'd like to see him try to figure out how to do that scenario. Okay, he says, well, second place isn't that bad, and here, Ridger wants to see you, so I guess I go back onto the planet and talk to Ridger again. Damn, wasted all that money on that upgrading my engine, and I still didn't win. Oh well. Let's head down to the planet and see what Ridger wants. Oh look, the same scene of me leaving the ship again. Oh, pirates! Okay, I can deal with that. Supposed to be able to somehow enable something called chase mode. I don't know what that is. Which would let me stay on these guys' tail. I mean, I, it's not, a, not one of these, so I don't know. And it looks like we got rid of all of them, so let's land and go talk to Captain Richer. And we'll land at the starport. And we'll pick things up when we get there. So, we'll be down in a few minutes, and we'll see you next time.